So what is going on guys, NativeBrace93 here with another video and before we actually get started, I would highly recommend giving me a follow on Twitter because I'm going to be doing weekly giveaways on my Twitter and all you guys have to do is retweet that tweet, follow me on Twitter and then also give me a sub right here and then you guys will be entered to win the weekly giveaway. I'm going to be doing headphones, cases, pretty much a bunch of stuff that I just have that I haven't gotten to that I want to get rid of. And it's still brand new and it's still awesome, so highly recommend you guys follow me on Twitter right now. But for this video, we're going to be going over iPadOS 14.2 GM, which is the final release before everybody in the public gets it. So let's hop right into it. Alright guys, so the first few actual updates that we're going to see actually revolve the AirPods and the AirPods Pro. So that's really, really nice to to see that we're getting it both on the iPad and on the iPhone. So if you go to your Bluetooth settings, if you guys can see, I have my AirPods open there so we know that they're connected. Click on the Bluetooth settings for the AirPods Pro, scroll down, and then you see optimize battery charging. So that's a new feature that pretty much helps alleviate all the issues that people were having with poor battery life on their AirPods and AirPods Pro because a lot of people have been mentioning both from a day-to-day -day perspective and a longevity perspective that the AirPods aren't lasting those full four hours. And then on top of that, that the battery is getting worse and worse a lot faster. So what Apple's doing here is to reduce battery aging, iPad and AirPods learn from your daily charging routine so AirPods can wait to finish charging past 80% until you use them next. And if you guys notice that when you're charging your AirPods overnight, especially with your iPhone, you'll notice that your AirPods get a little notification now that it's 80% charged and then fully, fully charged. And then again, if you go into your actual sound settings up here and you go to reduce loud sounds, this is new, so you can actually reduce loud sound. So your iPad can analyze headphone audio and reduce any sound that is over a set decibel. So if you turn that guy on, you can actually set how many decibels you have, and then it'll listen to the, that outside listening. And then also the music or podcast that you're listening to, it'll keep that below 85 decibels. But I like to keep that off. So you also get over 100 new emojis, which I'm not really going to go over, but I know a lot of people are going to be happy about that. But they're obviously just in your emoji keyboard, and it's easy to access. You just press the little world button down here when you've got the keyboard open, guys. And then, like I mentioned before, we get eight new wallpapers. This is one of them, as you guys can see. I'm going to switch it to another one real quick. So if we go to home screen or we go to wallpaper, choose a new wallpaper. Under the still section, we scroll down. I'm going to go to this beach one right here and turn off perspective zoom because I don't like it. We're going to set it as the home screen. Voila. And then I'm also going to turn dark mode off because somebody in my last comments actually mentioned that dark mode isn't too keen for your eyes, but look how gorgeous this is, guys. Apple doesn't really give us these cartoony-like wallpapers, but I absolutely love it, because you guys know how much I like my minimalistic, you know, landscape-type wallpapers. Another new one is that the Now Playing now looks completely different. As you guys can see, it's much bigger. This little circle is actually bigger as well, so it looks a little bit different for whenever you're actually listening to music, so keep that in mind. And then we also have a redesigned AirPlay menu. So if I go back to the Now Playing, press this little AirPlay menu right here, you can see that it's a little bit different how the AirPlay looks and feels, which honestly I kind of like guys. So just little things that Apple's making to make it a little bit easier for us to kind of interact with the iPad. And then the last thing is with the actual home app because it now has intercom support. I don't have any HomePod, so I, don't, I can't actually show it or access it, but just know that intercom support is now there. And then lastly, I want to show you guys the actual build number for the device. So if we go into the wall, into the settings, go into general, go into about, and then click on 14.2, you can see that I'm on 18B91. There's no letter at the end of it, which is which indicates that this is the GM version, which means we're gonna get the normal version out to the public, hopefully within the next week or so. So that is what we got in terms of timeline, but let's finish up here and go out to the normal view. So as you guys saw, a lot of these improvements actually came to the AirPods, which is actually a really, really nice little update. And then of course, we got the 100 new emojis, the new wallpapers and a bunch of other extra things that a lot of people are going to be happy about, especially on the iPhone side. But again, iPad OS is taking a lot of the same iOS features and just bringing it over to a larger screen. I do hope that we get some sort of really nice iPad OS specific feature, maybe with 14.3 or 14.4, kind of like how we did last year. But for now, we got to make do with what we got, and that's pretty much all we have, guys. But that's going to do it for this video. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. Stay subscribed for a bunch of new iPad Air content coming out because the next one's coming tomorrow, guys. But until next time, peace.